When a link in the main navigation bar is clicked, it signals to the vehicle's controller that we desire to see vehicles that belong to a particular car classification. In the previous activity, the link and controller processes were built and discussed. Within the controller, two functions were mentioned. First, get vehicles by classification, which queries vehicles from the database based on the classification name. And second, build vehicle display, which wraps the resulting multidimensional array of data within HTML for display in a view. This video provides an overview of these two functions. The first function resides in the vehicle's model since it queries vehicle data from the database. This function requires that the classification name be passed into it as a parameter. To assist with human interactions, we have captured the classification name, but in the database table, the classification is stored as an integer. To reconcile these two different values, the SQL statement uses a subquery. The subquery allows us to query first the classification ID based on the classification name. The main query then attempts to retrieve vehicles that belong to that classification. By using a subquery, we can make the request using a single query instead of needing two separate queries. The data, if found, is then retrieved, stored, and returned to the controller. The second function is responsible for taking the returned vehicle data and wrapping it in HTML markup for display. Because this is a helper function, it is stored in the functions.php file within the library folder. In this function, we are using an unordered list as the main container to hold the vehicle information. Each vehicle's information is stored into a separate list item. Not all vehicle information is used, only the vehicle thumbnail image, name, and price. Once the data has been built and the loop finishes, the resulting list of vehicles is returned to the controller. By using these functions stored in the model and helper library, we are implementing an MVC architecture as we build the site. 